much room is on here, but I want to show you something. See what time it is? It's 11.39. I'm going to bed. It's Saturday night. The casino's packed. I just got a milkshake. Now what's a player like me on a Saturday night going to bed at 11.30? I can't keep my head up. I came here for a junket. And during the day, it's so relaxing. It's empty, the casino. It's a pleasure. It's like Las Vegas downtown. And on Saturday night, it's not packed, but it's busy with people and hot girls. What am I going to do with the hot girls? I'm too tired to do anything with them anyway. Let's say the hot girls, oh, Dave, I'd love to have sex with you. I wouldn't be able to enjoy it. I can't even play craps. And I put craps over hot girls. One reason I'm going to bed on Saturday night in Niagara Falls, people are, are coming there. I remember I shot a, a show in Las Vegas at a strip club. I left at 4 o'clock in the morning. I, I, I couldn't keep my head up. As I'm leaving, limousines are pulling up, blinds of people to get in like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. One time I went to a casino, the Barbary Coast, at 11 o'clock in the morning, and people are coming up from downstairs with boas on and shiny shirts. I said, I said to the guard, what, what's happening downstairs? It's an after-hours club. They're just coming up now. They're going to go to breakfast. I don't know how people do it. They're, they're rushing into the casino now. They're coming in from the hotels. They're laughing. The hot girls are all dressed up. As Andrew was into the nines. I don't talk like that. The, the, the lobby's packed. They can't wait to get in. And I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm not that old. But maybe, maybe one reason is because I'm up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Could that be it that I'm up at 7 o'clock, 6.30, quarter of 7, 7 o'clock I'm up. Maybe they're in bed till 11 or 12. I'm up at 7 o'clock and I rush down the casino so I can get to the crap tables as early as 9 o'clock or before. Could that be a reason why I'm falling asleep right now? I don't take naps during the day. Maybe they take naps during the day. There's a bar there. They can't wait to get into the bar. A regular bar with a band. People are, I, I saw a line. I said, what is this? The bar. When I, in the morning, when I get up, there's a bar there. It's empty. It's just a bar with booze. A bar. And there's some band singing. I said to the security guard, why are they in line? Is there some celebrities? No, it's a bar. Could be some regulars. A very good band. They love to hear the band. They're waiting in line to get into a bullshit bar with a band. Then all the crap tables are full, but they're $25 crap tables tonight. And I could get there. And there's this one guy that I know. He's a big player. He, he was fat when I saw him years ago. He's even bigger now. So big he has to sit on a chair. I don't know why he's eating so much. He has racks of $1,000 chips or orange chips. He must have 3000 Then he has black chips. I was trying to see what he... I don't know what he does for a living. I don't know why he can't lose a little weight. He could certainly join Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers. I don't know. He shouldn't be that heavy. He even got fatter. And I'm thinking, why isn't he in the VIP room? Because I went in the VIP room. And there's a crap table. There may be three people playing. It's a $25 crap table with, without the sound and the music and the hubbub and whatever the hell's going on in the casino. I don't know why he's there with everybody else. Maybe he likes the action. I mean, it's it's a different kind of people, different class of people, different, uh, lack of a better word, I'll say riffraff. That is, and now people from Buffalo, people from other, it's not the same people during the day. During the day, I don't know if that's a classier type of people, but uh, more refined, dressed up, classier but now it's all young people, but it's um, uh, maybe more like Las Vegas. And I love Las Vegas, and I love it's a different crowd, Las Vegas. Las Vegas used to be for the upper middle class in the 60s. That's why people wore furs and suits, and they got dressed to go to shows, and it was uh, like going to the Catskills. Now people go to the, the steak dinners and shorts and a tank top. Jared went to in the Dominican with shorts and tank top. They said, you got to put on your, your shoes or something. We still wrong. So... It's a different class of people that are in there tonight. I, I love uh, young people. It's hip, it's cool, it's fun, hot girls. and th They're wide awake like it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, like it's 12 o'clock in the... And I'm falling asleep. I'm like a zombie in the casino right now at 11.30 at night. I can't uh, enjoy myself. I can't uh, take it all in. But in the morning when I get up, I'm so vibrant. I'm like they are right now. In the morning, I am like they are right now tonight. I get to the crap tables. I'm playing craps. And I'm going to the casino. And I'm playing roulette. And I'm playing keno. And I'm running back to the crap table. And I'm as excited. And I'm, I'm happy. And I'm having fun all day. And then at 9, 30, quarter, 10, 10 o'clock, I'm getting tired. And, and I, the casino's filling up with people. They're laughing. They're screaming at the crap tables. The band's playing. And I'm walking through the casino like a zombie. I don't know if you, if you know what that feels like. Maybe when you go to a wedding and the wedding's over and you're so tired and you can't keep your head up. I can't keep my head up. So I said, what am I doing? I, I can't even play the slot machines. When I'm in Las Vegas, after I can't keep my head up and I can't play craps, uh, I'll walk around playing the slot machines because I just want to play. I can't do that. I have to go to bed. I can't, I can't concentrate. I, I can't enjoy the nightlife. I, I'm walking, the streets are not packed, but people are up, going up and down the streets. I want to take, take it all in. But this is Niagara Falls, a little town. They, they told me that they, there's only one club here, and not even that is nothing with nothing. They, yeah, they all want to go to Toronto. Everyone wants to go to Toronto. 
where all the action is, where Jared goes to Toronto. But I, I can't stay out late in Toronto. Look, when I was at uh, New Year's Eve, I, I said, we should go to Niagara Falls New Year's Eve because we used to go to the kids' New Year's Eve. And as the streets are packed and it's happening. But it, it seems like sex and gambling and fun is better in my head than it actually is because I see the way the crowd is here tonight. And I'm thinking New Year's Eve would probably be even, I don't want to use the word worse, but more of a crowd. And it's not that as, as, as exciting as I thought New Year's Eve would be here. It used to be exciting, but now the kind of crowds that I see that are here now is not the kind of crowd that I would want to be with or hang out with or, or associate with. It's not that mirage crowd or the wind crowd when you go to the wind on a Saturday night. It, it's not. It's um, I, call, I, I don't know what kind of crowd you would call it. I don't want to say low-life crowd. It's just a different kind of a crowd that's here tonight that I don't want to hang out with. That's not my kind of crowd. That's not my Donald Trump kind of crowd. That's not my billionaire Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Rob Hervedjek, Kevin O'Leary kind of crowd. That's the kind of crowd I want to hang out with. Uh, Spiegelman, was that his name? Spiegelman? Was, that, was that a, a catalog? So whoever did Snapchat. That's my kind of crowd. This crowd is not my kind of crowd, whatever the hell it is. So I, I, I don't feel I'm missing out. I don't feel like I, I, this is the in crowd because this ain't the in crowd. Because I'm thinking, whatever this is, Las Vegas is 100 times crazier and wilder. But I can't even keep my head up in Las Vegas. So what's the difference? Um, um, I just want to gamble. Las Vegas that I like, the old Las Vegas is no longer there. They took down the Stardust, the Riviera, the old Las Vegas. Nothing's there. The, the Golden Nugget, the guy that bought it, the whole story, but the guy that bought the Golden Nugget is not the same Golden Nugget. Not Golden Nugget, the Golden Gate. Nothing's the same. As they say in that movie, Chicago, that song, uh, not respect. What is what they say? Uh, I forgot what the hell. I say, I'm so tired. I remember what the hell they say in that show. All right, so I'm having a milkshake. The girl said, do you want it thick or thin? I said, well, I, I, said I want it as thick as you can make because I had two milkshakes here already. I didn't, they, nobody ever asked me you want it thick or thin. They made it great. I tell this girl, I want it as thick as you can make it. It's watery like chocolate milk. All right, go to Dave's TV World at Bell.net. All the cash is there. You can stay up any, all hours of the night and party with the crowd down here because i got to go to bed. I can't keep my head up. Email me, Dave's TV World at Bell.net. Got the hottest TV products. Got to get online. Party all night here. It's a lot of fun. I had a ball in Niagara Falls. I had a ball. I, I, I want to come back every, every month. I'll do it for two weeks or longer than that. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. I just can't keep my head up. I'll just go to bed early. <laughs> well, what's the point of, of forcing myself? I can't concentrate. I can't even play craps. I, I, there's room to play the crap table. There's a $25 crap table. I play there, but I, I can't keep my head up. I can't concentrate. I can't play slots. I can't, I can't play roulette. I can't enjoy all the girls that are there. I can't do nothing. I, I got to go to sleep. Dave's TV World about.net. Email me now. Get the products online. You go with the girls and and till 3 o'clock in the morning. They're all coming in like like it's like lunch afternoon. I have to go to bed. Dave's TV World about.net. I had a ball. It's a lot of fun. I just can't keep my head up.